So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to obtain the infinite lives cheats uh, and pokes for any Commodore 64 game. So what we're going to do is previously we're going to use Sergeant Seymour, Robot Cop, as our example game. I'm just going to warp load that. So we're using um, a utility called ICU64, which is just open here in this small window. And we're also using um, Vice or WinVice64. And we're just warping the load of um, the tape version. So you can see we've got a clean version there that's just loaded. So um, once ICU64 is attached to WinVice, you'll have this little window open when you load the game up. And what you want to do is click on MISC miscellaneous and then select memory scan. And then you'll get this other window here that's loaded up. And then we're going to start the game. Let's just ensure we've got the um, joystick selected. There we go. So we're going to start the game as you would normally. And then as soon as the game, uh, the first game screen comes up, click new. And this will reset all the values. So we've just clicked new. And here are all the values of all the memory locations. We've just died, lost the life. So click decrease. And then keep clicking unchanged until your lives change again. So stop clicking um, unchanged and then click decrease again because the lives have gone down. And you'll see now it's whittled it down to one memory location, A6, A3. That's the memory location that stores our lives. And we know that because if we start a new game now, we've just died and it's game over. If we start a new game, you'll see that instantly we've got the value number three, which tells us we're going to start with three lives. So we've got a three there and we've got three there. So when we lose a life in a second, which we'll do now, it's gone down to two there and it's also gone down to two in memory location A6, A3. So let's write that down, A6, A3, because that's uh, an important memory location because that stores our lives, A6, A3. So that's the lives memory location. Now, what we need to do is to find out how A6A3 is being controlled within the game code. So if you freeze the game using your action replay cartridge and do M for monitor, we're now going to hunt for instances where A6A3 appears within the game code. So if you use the hunt command H do a space and then 0800 to FFFF. That's the memory location we're going to search from and to. And then we're going to look for A6A3. But when you use the hunt um, option, you've got to do it in reverse because that's how it's coded. So we're not looking for A6A3. We're looking for A3A6. A3A6. And if you press enter, it will start to bring up some memory location. So we've got 0935, 3A2E, 3A3A, 4142 and A700. And then you've got your prompt cursor flashing in. Now I already know that that's where the lives are stored in 4142. But we'll have a look at 0935 to start with because that's an important location because if, I, if we go to 0935 you'll see here 0935 is here. There's our A6A3. So that's the location that um, lives are stored in. And just above that, it's saying to load the accumulator number three and stack it into A6A3. So this is saying put three into A6A3, which this is obviously the start of the game because it's giving you three lives to start with. So this isn't where we need to um, look at because this is the start of the game. But you could just to play around. If you wanted 255 lives, you could type FF in there. And when the game starts again, you'll have instantly have 255 lives. But we'll leave that at free for the moment. Now, the other memory location was, uh, I think it was 4142, I think. Let's just have a look. Let's go back up. 4142. So here we go. So this is what we need. We've got DEC, which means decrease, A6, A3. 
So this is where A6A3, which holds our lives, gets decreased by 1. So we want it to stop decreasing by 1. So this here is in memory location 4141. So let's write 4141 down because that's important. And you'll see why in a minute. And in 4141 at the moment we've got CE, which is translated as the decrease command. CE is decrease. So I'm going to put CE in brackets for a second just so we remember that. And we need to change it to an L, change the DEC to LDA, which is load accumulator. And when you do that, you'll see that the CE has changed to AD. Okay, so we need to write that down here. So 414, memory location 4141 now becomes AD, load accumulator. What does that do? It, all it does is it just keeps saying where we store our lives in A6A3, just keep loading the same value each time into that memory location, which means it will never change. It will just keep loading. If it starts with three lives, it will remain with three lives. It won't ever decrease. So we now have the memory location where the lives are actually stored, but the game code that actually decreases that, we can now change to 41, sorry, 4141. We can now change to AD, but we need to convert that to a poke. That's easily done. All you need to do is to type in your in your monitor mode type n for nigel dollar and then type 4141 so 4141 that will give us the first part of the poke 16705 it's returned there so poke 16705 comma and then we do the other part the ad we want to convert that N dollar AD that brings us 173. 173. There's our infinite lies poke. That's it. That's what we would use as a poke to give us infinite infinite lives. So let's try it. Let's start afresh, load the game. So names game's now going to load up again. I'll just speed it through the loading process. So I'm loading the new version so you can see it clean that we haven't touched any of the code. So that's just loading in CCS64. And once that's loaded, we'll play it as usual without the poke, and we'll show you the lives decreasing. So here's the game. We'll start it. Let's just attach the um, joystick. Oh, it already is attached. There we go. Right. So we can start the game and let's lose a life. So we, our lives are three at the moment. We're going to lose a life and it's gone down to two. Let's quickly freeze it. Go for E to enter pokes. Type in 16705173, which is what we converted. Enter, enter, press seven to restart, restart the game. And you'll see when we die or we hit a baddie, our lives won't go down. So we've just died and our lives are still two. And we're going to die again in a sec. We've just died again, our lives are still two. And if I speed that through, warp that through, you'll see how fast everything goes. We keep dying, probably died about 10 times already, 15 times, but our lives will always remain two. So that's how you convert using ICU64, WinVice, and the action replay cartridge. We found the memory location where our lives are stored. We found that location being decreased with the game code, which was at 4141, and it was being decreased by the decrease command CE. We changed CE to AD to load the accumulator, so to keep loading the same number of lives over and over again. And then we converted it using the N dollar command to a poke, and that poke gives us infinite lives and as you can see there, we can keep continuing playing the game without losing any lives.